you want to bring an AutoCAD drawing into Procreate to scale, I'm your Corvus. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so here's the AutoCAD. You've just opened it up. Um, this is the floor plan that you want to export into Procreate. So what you do is uh, I create a scale bar that has a dimension or I have to use a, a kind of a, a line or something that is a dimension that I know. It has to be a nice dimension. So something that is um, easy to remember and easy to kind of align. So don't go with like a 5.2 mil, 5.235 meter. Rather have something that's round and big, easy to work with. Because we're going to scale this drawing in Procreate using the Procreate's grid as well as um, the page size to get it to work properly. So what you then do is, I'm just going to export this. Um, so A3, export, you know, make sure you've got your line styles, all that ready. Um, export it and then just save it where you want to save it and then bring that onto your iPad. All right, so now I've got it on my iPad. I'm just going to open up this file. Here it is. And you can just press open and procreate. If that if button isn't there, you can just press on the share um, button and then go scroll across, find the more, and then find your procreate. So I've imported into procreate. What will happen if you bring it into procreate is not going to open the file that you've just imported. So if you've got a file open, um, it's not going to it's not going to open the one that you're trying to bring in. So rather go to gallery and then press on it. There you go. Now we've got it open in front of us. All right. So from here, what you need to do is um, go to gather. Uh, sorry, go to your canvas, uh, your sorry, your gear spanner. Hit crop and resize and go settings. Now you'll see if I bring this in that it's not going to bring in the size of the actual page. For some reason, Procreate kind of downscales it um, always. I don't understand why it does that, but it, it does. Um, okay, I'm just going to put in the actual dimensions of the actual export that I got out of AutoCAD. Hit done. All right, so that is the actual size that I exported. At. Here's the size of the page that I've got now, the PDF. I'm just going to hit the selection bar and I'm just going to scale it up to match the page that I've got. So technically, the scale should be should work now because we've exported it. To, to a, on a page size and we've now matched that scale on the canvas. I'm just going to check it though and this is something that I do all the time is that I'll then go again to gear, add drawing guide, edit drawing guide and I'll add a, a new grid size. So the trick here is under the grid size button over here, go millimeters or whatever you know length you're using or whatever scale you're using and I just hit 10 moles, 10 millimeters. Now I know that 10 millimeters should equal half a meter. The smaller you go with your grid, the more accurate it will be. So I hit it done and I've just, what I've done is I've moved it to line up perfectly with this um, scale bar that I've put in. And each block should equal half a meter. So if you've got one, two blocks equals one meter. And if you then multiply that, you get to 12 meters or 12, sorry, 12 blocks, which is six meters because each block is half a meter. Hit done. And you now know that your drawing is to scale. Now, obviously, this grid is very overpowering, so I would obviously just reduce the opacity of it. And now, if you're drawing, you're going to be drawing to scale. So I know that as a meter. And if I need to now, with the grid active, uh, draw you know to scale, I can just now press this button on the right here that allows me to draw on the grid, and I can draw reasonably or well, very accurately to scale drawings. To recap, you have a plan in AutoCAD, you export it onto a page size that you know, um, you take that PDF that you bring that into Procreate, once you've got it in Procreate, you create the, the canvas size, you make it match the same page as the PDF that you've exported, you then you create a grid in Procreate that then matches the same, uh, that has the same scale as what you want to check. I put a scale bar on my PDF just to show and just to check if you have a, 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 a noble dimension that is a nice number, like a round big number, your grid then has to match that to a degree. Um, you know, it can either be a meter or I did half a meter grid line and I can make sure that they all line up. Very easy, very simple way of bringing an AutoCAD plan through PDF into Procreate to scale. Did you find this useful? Have you tried it and it doesn't work for you? If there's another method that you use, please can you share how you do it? I'd be interested to see um, other methods. Um, Thumbs if you liked it, subscribe if you want more of this kind of content, check you out.
Did you find this useful? Have you tried it and it doesn't work for you? If there's another method that you use, please can you share how you do it? I'd be interested to see um, other methods. Um, thumbs if you liked it, subscribe if you want more of this kind of content. Check you out.